the campaign playthrough for the Wood Elves, so like I said, I was going to play through this fight. Um, so I had quick saved, and I was just kind of auto-resolving it, and I ended up losing this fight, so I was like, alright, well, next video I'll just come back and fix this up myself. Uh, so they have quite a few Way Watchers, but, uh, you know, I have a pretty large contingent of uh, Wildwood Rangers, so if I can keep them healthy and absorb all the missile fire with these uh, Eternal Guard, I'm going to be able to dumpster his front line and just take, chase down all these uh, Way Watchers pretty quickly, and I'll be able to take them out of the fight uh, probably with no problem, I would assume, and uh, these Hawk Riders are just going to get uh, shot down, unfortunately, I think, because uh, they have to contend with two other Hawk Rider units and uh, all this missile all presence, so we'll see how that actually fares. And I do have a tree man, so he will be able to hold down the front line quite sufficiently, and their lord will absolutely get beat down by my tree man and my own lord, who's a uh, level 12, so we'll see how this fight goes. We're gonna go ahead and start this fight, so I know it's gonna be a long load in time. I probably should have just uh, explained all that right here, but you know, whatever. It's alright, we'll get into the game. It's probably gonna be a little bit of lag as soon as the game starts up, because I just booted it up. So it's all fresh and still trying to like recognize what's happening. And uh, some good news for the channel is the uh, return of my computer was finally accepted. And they're going to be shipping out a new computer to me anytime soon. Uh, so anytime soon. Anytime here in the foreseeable future, like probably in one to two days. So uh, unfortunately though, Sunday, Monday, you know, no post on Sunday. And then Labor Day, federal holiday. So shipping probably will uh, halt for those two days. But I expect next week... Either by Thursday or Friday, I should definitely have my computer by then, and hopefully up and running, and uh, I'll start getting out better quality videos and uh, better quality stuff for, uh, what's it called, Total War Arena, because I'm sure I'll be playing that by then as well, and also uh, better stuff for Rainbow Six Siege, so I'll be able to process everything that's happening better and be able to have a higher frame rate in that game. Very, very graphics intensive game. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to start playing that game. Uh, for this channel. Uh, we'll see how it fares. Some people may like it, some people might not. But you know, having some channel diversity and just playing games that I like, I feel like, you know, that's kind of my right as a YouTuber, so... Uh, I'll always have content for Warhammer. This is like my favorite game, so... I'm never concerned about that. But, uh, I do want to keep everybody happy. Give them what they want, you know? <laughs> like I always say, so... Let's just kind of spread out our troops right here. So I just kind of have them in this this formation right here. Uh, I'm not really worried about intercepting charges or cavalry or whatever. Glade, these uh, these glaive infantry. So your wildwood rangers are just devastating. Like if you take a look at their damage, it's just absolutely retarded high. So uh, we'll be doing let's see 54 damage per strike to somebody. If they, t they come too close to these guys, and there's uh, 75 people in a, mo in a unit, so... You know, if they really, really, really want to fight it out with me, they're more than... I'm more than willing to accept that challenge, but they're going to get cut to pieces. And uh, being in the trees like this, it's definitely going to help block a few missile shots from all those Way Watchers who are going to do tremendous damage to us. Unfortunately, right here, these guys are going to get torn up a little bit. Move them right there a little bit. So, just kind of looking at all these guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And uh, these dudes, you know what? We'll just, uh, we'll have these guys... Have these guys, like, over here. And then we'll draw them in. And these guys will be over here as well. See. So these guys, let's see. Where are you at? You're right there. What do you got? You have Foe Seeker. Lame. So we're going to throw you... Throw you right there. Actually, let me see. We'll put him right here, right in front, and he'll be able to maintain oh, shooting while uh, we're waiting for everybody. And uh, let's see, so we'll go ahead and say this is group one. And get some tree men up in here as well. So one right there, one right there. And we can just plug holes wherever we gotta with the uh, wild yes. wildwood rangers and stuff like that. Because these eternal guard are gonna get shot down pretty hard, but you know what, that's fine. Uh, I'm not too worried about how they do. Uh, our melee core is what we're concerned about. I'm going to try and keep all my archers as spread apart as possible. Because the less fire that they take that's concentrated, the better. Whereas units like these guys that are a little bit clumped up. Now they do have that loose formation, but they're still clumped up. They're going to take lots more damage, especially people like this. So when you're firing in, all your archers are going to be trying to zone, zone in, you know. And try and hit like right here in the middle, but they're going to be hitting all over the place, but, you know, with a formation like this compared to a formation 
all skinny like this, there's going to be a lot more misses. Like, yeah, it'll hit in a wider area like this, but there's only a two rank deep line, so it's whatever. Honestly, I don't even care. Uh, let's see here. Two. Three. Four. I'm going to do five with these guys. Homeboy. Uh, we'll put him right here in the middle as well. Put him in one. Put these guys in one as well. And that's our army. That is it. So, let's move forward. Get some pot shots off. And uh, see what we can do here against these uh, Hawk Riders right here. Actually, what, what, what might be best is trying to draw in a fight with our archers right here. And just run around with these guys. So these archers will catch up pretty quickly. Because these ones don't have any poison arrows. That's unfortunate. These do, so that's something we're going to have to watch out for. But they have much lower range than our units. So as soon as they come in range, start turning around. Hopefully they start firing. There we go. There we go. It's getting a couple shots on. Oh, careful. Glory to the eternal realm. Shoot, just get a couple shots on them. Oh, of course, you just shoot straight into the ground, fucking fools. But you know what, that's fine. They're trying to come over here and fight me just like I want them to. And keep running back. There we go. Start targeting all these ladies down. Come on. There we go. Start shooting apart these girls because uh, the more they're able to cast that Shield of Thorns, the more damage that all their units are going to be doing, and that's something that I want to have as little of as possible. So, see how that works out. Start targeting them. Them. Actually, keep targeting them. That's perfect. Go ahead and everybody shift over here. Go fight them. We'll finish them off with the Glade Guard right here. They'll be fine. Oh yeah, that's some good hits right there. They're not coming back from this fight. Okay. I'll take some shots in. Come over here. Get these guys over here too. Our Glade Lord's getting some good shots in. So that's always nice. Oh, oh, oh came, in, came within range of the archers, so we gotta be careful about that. We need to keep our own archers alive and do as much damage as we can. These hawks are getting shot to pieces. All the arrows all over the place. What up on Wood Elf, guys? This is what it is. It's just arrows going all over the place. So, let's see here. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need to get out of here. No, 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 no. Maybe. Shoot him down. Shoot him down right now. Stop running. There we go. That was a pretty brutal charge, but you know what? They're going to get punished really heavily for that. We're going to start running. We need to get behind here. So, Blade Guard. Start shooting. Deepwood scouts can start running. These blade guard can keep shooting as well. These deepwood scouts go, go, go on. Keep going, keep going. So we just want to keep shooting them down. Like I said, where, where are these guys at? So we're gonna win this fight over here with this hawk rider unit. So we can ignore all these crazy rear charges that could have been happening now. So that's perfect. We're losing so many people. This hawk on hawk action. All these mangled bodies just falling from the sky. Glorious. Alright. Go back over here. We all need to escape now. Just go on. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Alright, let's go. So these Glade Guard can start lining up right here. They can line up here. Deepwood Scouts can keep going. Alright, turn off the fire at will. We'll just put them right here on the sides. So they're trying to go in pretty heavy over here. So we're going to line up a whole bunch of people. Start firing in. Fire in. Fire in as quick as possible. Try and get as much damage in on these ladies before they get into combat. So these archers are just going to have to take the brunt of this charge, I think. Which is unfortunate, because they are my uh, elven archers that I do need. But, you know. What happens, happens. So now they're going to pull back. They've uh, taken up enough of their fights. Enough of their damage. And then... These guys right here, these guys right here. Blade guard right here are doing completely fine. Go ahead and charge in right here, counter charge. Alright, keep going. Ooh, these glade riders are going to get shot up now. Or glade, uh, wildwood rangers, excuse me. Yes, look at that. 
completely an just annihilating these guys. That's perfect. Go ahead and keep running. Don't want to get caught. I want to do as much wi uh, damage to these Wildwood Rangers as possible because uh, the weaker we make them before we they get into combat, the better it's going to be for my own glade, uh, my own Wildwood Rangers. All right, start, start pulling in. You guys get out. Go, go, go. Ooh, they get caught. Okay. Just trying to stay in the trees, like I was saying. It's pretty important. With haste, swiftly, deep wood host, we will obey. Let's fly. Get ready. Our bows are yours, children of Athelora. All right, just kind of line up all of our archers. Get the side shots in now with these guys. Start tearing apart these war dancers before they can keep doing too much for us, against us rather. Excuse me. I'm losing my trains of thought. Pull in these guys now. Pull in these guys. It's looking real good. Terror should kick in pretty soon on these war dancers, I think. Oh no, they have immunity to psychology. Dang. Alright, let's go ahead and start. You know, let's retreat back into the trees. So we need to draw out all the missile fire possible. So go ahead, come back. Go on back. Come back this way. They're gone. They're gone. Where are our hawk riders? Oh no, they're just getting shot to pieces over here by these uh Sisters of the Thorn. That's unfortunate. We lost so many models right there, but it's time for them to die now, so that's good for us. There they go. Good, 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 good. So one. Let's just come on. Everybody get back in the trees. Just like that. Cause, uh, they're almost out of ammo on some of these units and they're gonna start running into combat. That's gonna be perfect for me. So all my archers are doing just dandy. Doing just fine. So keep fighting. Fighting. We don't want them taking damage. We want these Glade Guard, uh, Eternal Guard, excuse me, taking damage. You need to stop shooting. You're just wasting all your ammo. You go back. Oh, let's see here. Jaw up here a little bit. Damn, they have such long range. But a lot of their shots are getting blocked by the trees, so that's also okay with me. Alright, let's see what's happening to these war dancers. They have so few models left, so we're gonna go ahead and back back up. Back up. And we're gonna go ahead and take out these ladies before they come back again. God dang. They're so relentless. There they go. Fuck y'all. Alright, here we go. Get this, uh... Let's charge out everywhere. Since they're routing. Alright. Start catching all these guys. There we go. So we're just gonna fast forward a little bit. Do as much damage as possible. We're able to fire on the move, of course, so... Just taking down as many of these people as possible. They're like, yeah, you're gonna lose this battle for sure. AI is retarded. They don't know what they're talking about. They couldn't handle me. I don't know who they thought they could handle. Certainly not me. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Taking them out. Let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Take out everybody possible. Take out as many as we can. There we go. These Way Watchers have such good stats, though. That's the only thing. But uh, thankfully, we're able to just keep rear charging them over and over and over. All right, get them before they get out. Yeah, there we go. Keep taking out some more, more and more. It's gonna make the, uh, the garrison of this place insanely strong. Look at the chevrons. Everybody's gonna pick up. This one's already a silver chevron. Two silver chevrons. Picked up uh, two and one chevron in each of these units. Let's see, who else got more? Got some on the tree, man. Good for you, dude. Good for you. 
Very good, very good. Alright. That should be good. Heroic victory, no less. I'll take that. You're like, oh yeah. Unwinnable fight, completely. Oh, you can't win this. <laughs> yeah, they, they did not understand that Waystalkers couldn't fucking fight in the forest, so, you know, whatever. All their shots just kept getting blocked. They kept shooting the fucking Eternal Guard, so... You know, not only are the trees blocking their shots, but 55% of them don't make it to the actual target. So, you know, good stuff for me. And I was able to catch all three of these guys and shoot shoot apart these guys with all my archers. And these war dancers did the most work for them, even compared to their Wildwood Rangers with their insane combat stats. So, perfect. Perfect. Could not have asked for that to go better. That is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Get fucking wrecked, computer. I don't know why they think this stuff could happen. I like how he has these antlers, like, right on the side of his helmet, instead of, like, on the top. Like, horns or something like that. Like, no, I'll just put it right on the side of my face, dude. You sure? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's exactly what I want. Yeah. And Throg, that campaign... <laughs> that campaign when I had Throg on my, uh, my own Norskin playthrough, all he said the whole time <laughs> is just talking about eating people and everywhere is, uh, every battle is, like, food or something like that. I'm just like, all right. Good. Just all he does is eat people. Good for him. Such a happy guy. Must be so simple. All he does is fight and eat. And piss on, uh, Sigvald the Magnificent when he kills him in the lore. So, certainly not something that the, uh, Scion of Selenash would would want, but you know, you lose the fight. Whatever happens, happens, dude. It's Warhammer. Get fucked. Oh boy, come on, these load times. Let's go. Oh. Watch, watch me auto-resolve on this next fight that I won last time on the video, and it's on video, so it's confirmed that this auto-resolve was a win. I'm gonna save here just because bullshit happens to me all the time. I'm gonna save here and watch me lose. Okay, I still won. Never mind. Whatever. I was expecting a loss there just because of some stupid shenanigans, but you know what? They're like, you deserve the win. I'm like, thank you. Don't I, though? Now Orion just gets to hunt down all these little weak, pathetic foes. Kill him. Kill him now. Good. Do it. Alright, let's be able to Vanguard deploy two Wildwood Rangers. That sounds awesome. Kill them. Alright, let's see who else we can fight. We can fight this guy. Who are you? Oh. I jaw rebel. Lord of the Asprey. That is interesting indeed. Can y'all win? That'd be interesting. I don't think y'all can, but fuck. All right, I'll take it. Kill him. Yeah. Perfect. Go back over here. There you go. Look how happy everybody is. Aren't I just a benevolent host? Yep. All right. Looking good. Alright, so we need to get this barrel up to two. Because it increases the amount of money I get from all the vine yards, which are these. So, grape vines, I mean. It increases the amount of money from grape vines, as it says right there. Plus 20% income. So it's a pretty big deal. So what do you got over here? So many things for troops. What's this for? Nope. Don't want that. Don't care. Uh, we need those barrels. I want money. I love money. How can I assist you? You can't. Let's see. You can take a steed though, that'll help. These are dark times. Are they? Nice. Orion! So this guy has absolutely nowhere to go. He has like half an army, and he's like, alright. I can go, uh, nowhere, because all I can do is rebel in this one province, and their garrison looks like that, and their army looks like that. Hmm. What 
to do. Shouldn't have rebelled, maybe. You know? Sounds like a good idea to me. Do I actually have the Cloak of Isha? I think I just have to do the quest. It's not actually unlocked. Alright, so we'll do the... We'll do armor. That's gonna be important. We need him to survive, for sure. Fucking chaos everywhere. Hey, look, we can kill Big Bird! Hell yeah! He's like, what, what's over here in the Wood Elf territory? Your death. Oh man, that's so good. So we can kill him on his own. And that means there's only these three armies? Oh, I forgot about the Norskins though. Damn. Well, you need me? how many people? Let's merge these two, see what happens. You cold? One. Glade Lord, Perfect. at your service. Proud son of Athaluran. Um Sorry, dude. How One, two, three. Right. Yeah, so we need three guys there. That'll make them at least even. They're not happy at all. That's because of uh, this shenanigans, which will be gone in three turns. And what should I get for your? Oh, I didn't give Orion. Master of the Wild Hunt. I didn't give him the Sisters of Thorn. Ah. So yeah, just give him those so I can have that mission done. And then run back over there. That's what I need. Perfect. Where is that? Yeah, so I can't do that. I don't want to raid that territory. Um, obviously, I'm friends with Bretonia, and right now it's kind of go time. Either like win or lose. So perhaps what I could do is see what kind of garrison they got. Oh, that's good. It's real good. It's not good at all. Alright, so Petonia is over here in the back. Homeboy, what are you doing? You need to go to your cities. You have so many fucking heroes. This is so ridiculous. So... See, I fix, see, I fix the problem with, like, really shitty builds, but now people go with, like, 80 heroes in their armies. Like, fucking five right there. Three. Just him. So that's fine. Over here, nobody... But Jesus Christ, like, why the fuck do y'all have so many damn heroes? Alright, we got the Beastmen over here. So we do need to protect this territory. Ryan, finish him off. He doesn't deserve to live. Keep getting to replenish replenishment. We don't need money. We need casualties replenished. I know it is. Yes, you are. Away I go! Just leave yourself right there. Now, we want... Yes. Um, perfect. Perfect. Okay, all these places already have... Oh, you don't have tier 3. What is this? Replenishment? But it's only 4%. I don't care about that. And you're already fucking tier 5. Alright, so right now we need to hurry and get that. We'll worry about money in a moment. Go ahead and work on the barrels over here, though. Um. These are dark times. All right, looking okay. It's all right. We're doing all right. This feels really desperate right now, but as soon as campaign, uh, the chaos is done in this campaign, I think it's just going to be. Oh, I can go over here, grab that, or go over here, grab this, or grab that and this. So it's going to get easy soon, but yeah, I definitely got. I have a lot of work. Before that ever happens. And so this is three lords right here, but I don't see Sigbald. Big Bird's here. Still don't see Sigbald over there, so I'm like, where the fuck is he? The Empire. 
Hopefully this is not just Empire-like swordsmen. I'd be real sad. Alright, so... Whoever the fuck that is. Is that real Norska? Okay, so that's actual Norska. And Wintertooth. Which... That's pretty confusing. I don't know. I don't know why they're not fighting. Like, I was at war with them for so fucking long. Did they make a military alliance? Hold up. They're, they're trading with them. But they're not at war with them. Oh, they're both vassals, though, of them. So that's, that's why. I don't think they had that option. So, sadly, Britonia is about to get its ass kicked in right here, so there's nothing I can do about that. Hopefully these guys decided to come up here. I can just annihilate both of those armies one at a time. In fact, I dare them. If I lose Karak, Izor, that's, you know, so be it, but... Um, if they push there and they push there, I'll be so happy, but I don't think that's how this is going to work out for me. It's going to take a lot to chase down these armies, too. and take lots of casualties. Oh, yeah, we'll just, uh... We'll just auto-resolve it. It's whatever. It's just the computer. It doesn't matter. Not the computer, but the rebellion. So that's fine. Let's see. What are you guys vassals, too? What's going on here? No? You're just your own independent little guy. Good for you, man. Sticking it to the dude. Alright, let's, yeah, let's get that. It's gonna be a big deal. Kind of a big deal. So, they don't have anything to hop over territories. Now, they can only come in through here, 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 uh, maybe right there? Can you go through right there? No, you can't go in through there. So I have three points of entrance, and I'm going to have a 20-stack army in each place. That's what I want. So public order minus eight. Minus eight. And that puts us to negative two. So that put us to positive six. Okay. What do you need? All right. At your service. Um, Lord of the Glade. Okay, we're gonna start recruiting some stuff over here. Let's see what we can get. Can we have one amber to work with? Forest dragon. What happens if I go negative? I don't remember. I haven't been negative this whole time for like more than a turn. So let's just not need that. A lot of these guys. A lot of them. So let's just do that now. And. We'll go ahead and take... We need armor piercing. Expensive. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll work on more next turn. Can I offer assistance? Cool. So one turn left for that. Hmm. It's fine. In fact, you know what? We should have just... We should have honestly just kept those guys with this army. Just a little bit of extra reinforcements for anything that decides to come our way. But it's not that hard to reach someone else. Is it? Two turns. So I'll just have to understand what's going to happen. Just have to keep an eye on the situation. Otherwise, sure. Next turn. by more Wildwood Rangers for this army. If I can just get like a whole bunch of Wildwood Rangers, they're just gonna shut down any Chaos army that comes after me. Um, and that'll be fine with me. Because if I can kill their Lord, my Wildwood Rangers can beat almost any sort of Chaos Warrior unit one-on-one, -on -one, no problem. Once we start getting to Chosen though, we're gonna have a little bit more of an issue. Except for the fact should be able to contend with them pretty nicely because of this presence of missile units. We just need to make sure we have an even balance though. Hold the front line and something to stop the uh, 
other presences in the field, cavalry or whatnot. Should I get a see here? Oh. It costs a lot, but I need one for that healing in this army. If I don't have healing in this army, it's gonna be a bad time. So I'm gonna buy that guy. Next turn. Next turn. How right I now, you go ahead and just throw yourself into that. So homeboy. He's looking for a fight, but that army ain't gonna do shit. The forest calls. What can you do? Alright, alright. Sight beyond sight. Looks like that's what it is. Let's see here. I think we're gonna go ahead and end turn. Oop, looks like Colex Colex going for blood. Maybe if we can get over there. Can we run over there? No, we can't make it in time. I was hoping maybe I could get over there and be able to help out with that fight. Dang, look at that attrition. Wow. Oh boy, no, I wouldn't be able to make it. I should have done that like last turn, but yeah, no. The Fae Enchantress is dead, I'm sorry. You're, you're gone. It's unfortunate, but you know what? It's... Is it my person that's gonna die? No. Do I really care? Yeah, no. We'll find out. I'll we'll take a wild rider. One bit of cavalry shouldn't hurt. I do good work. Alright. Next turn, branch raid. Needs to happen. And then once uh Colex army not Colex, god dang. Once Durthu's Durthu's army fills up with all the Wildwood Rangers and the uh, Away Watchers. Um, probably can just start filling out these other armies with cheap, effective units like Eternal Guard. They have pretty decent armor piercing, but they get torn up really bad in the front line by high right. DPS units. So that's the only thing I'm really worried about. But you know, they, they have 60 armor now. That's, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. And, uh, go ahead and get that. So right now, this garrison's looking a little bit weak. Could be looking like that. It's pretty beefy. Oh no. I forgot though, look at like look, these guys they lose their So this actually trades out your two Glade Guard with Starfire Shafts for Deepwood Scouts with Swift Shiver Shards. Which I mean that that's cool. But like that's only good for against, against these dudes. Damn it. And Chaos is the biggest pro pro problem right now, so uh let's see. Norska's gonna be an issue too, though. Fuck. Uh, I guess I guess they'll be okay. There's a few of them out there that I could deal with more effectively, but losing that AP against chosen units is not something that I want. I want max AP right now, because honestly, once chaos is done, who fucking cares? The world's ours. Damn! Whoa! 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 Holy shit! 25% ward save on this dude. God dang, Archaon, what the fuck? And I know he has a physical resistance now, too. God dang. Absolutely not. Alright, what about you? Magic resistance? Alright, whatever. Whatever. Fuck you, you're gonna die. I don't care. Yes. Wildwood Rangers will eat your heart out. Alright, you dudes. What do you dudes want? Did I? Let's just go ahead and get that branch right now. Because it's on my mind. Alright, let's see here. Phlegmatic. Sanguine. Um, that's fine. Alright, get that healing. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm retarded. Get that healing. There we go. Um, penum penum penumbral Pendulum will also be good. And what else can we get? We'll get the Withering. That'll help us take down a Lord quite quickly. Alright, let's put you in this army. Dorothy, you deserve a little branch right to work just for you, you know? Everyone needs one. Alright. So Dorothy is looking pretty substantial right now. Look at this beefy army. All these fucking Wildwood Rangers. Just hot and ready. Like, bring it, Chaos. We'll fucking chop you up, dude. These Waystalkers are gonna be no joke, too. But I don't want that many of them in each army. So five in this one. I feel like we lack armor piercing, but right now that's fine because we only have these guys and then Big Bird. So high damage is what really matters. But 
they have massive resistance from missile attacks, so these... Oh, well, Orion's in there, and the Branch Wraith, and this guy, so they'll be able to punish down the Big Bird whenever he comes close, so that's fine. These are dark it's nothing to worry about. Continuing on... Oh, I need to make sure this place doesn't revolt. Uh, I don't think I saw anything about a revolt in imminent, so that's good. And if anybody decides to go up here, I can just go up there my, on my own. So let's see what happens with this fight. I just want Chaos to make a move on their own, not me make a move. So uh, I can just anticipate what they're doing and just counter it with whatever it might be. They're so far away. If he just moves a little bit closer, I think he knows. Alright, we're just going to go right there. Let's see if these guys have an alliance. Do you have an alliance? 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 No. What was that? Huh. So I can set a war coordination target. Let's kill a Kolek. Let's go ahead and go for that. Y'all should do that. Let's get out of here. That's fine. Next turn, we're gonna fight them, if nothing if nothing else. That's uh that is something I will do. Might not actually fight the battle out because auto resolve is just gonna decimate those guys. Um uh, that's fine, I guess. God dang it. I don't know where they went. I don't wanna get ambushed. This army should be any ambush one on one. So we'll see what happens. Oh, they ran off. They're cowards. Lord of the forest. Put you right here in ambush you stance. They won't know what's happening. Kolex making his move. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, you. Let's go. Oh boy. Okay, let's just, uh. Get one of those. One turn, huh? One turn till he's over there. Hopefully he doesn't actually besiege the city yet. Oh, please just stay right there or something. Or try and fight that city. Oh, if they try and take this city and it's walled, I could come in and just take them. Oh, no, it's not walled. All right. Well, here comes Bretonia. They're mad at Kolek, as am I. Oh, good. Protector of the Oak. Alright. And now they're dead. Bye. Yes. I'll take it. It's fine. Alright, so actually we are negative now, so. What does this mean? I don't know what that means. Tell me what are what are the negatives? It doesn't tell me the fucking negatives. I hate it. Alright. Lord of the Asray. We're just gonna chill out right here. Yes. I think we'll be okay. Excuse me. Thank you. Actually, let's let's go back to our territory. Well. Kind of scared. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Uh, you guys. Do I have anything taking up? Glade Lord. No, we're just losing all of our cities that gave us that gold. Well, not the gold, but the amber. That's what's happening right now. Salute. Okay, looking good, looking real good. Right. One, more, one more turn after this, we'll have a 2020 army both in the north and the south, and we can start building up this army and that other army with just trash. We want them to be as cheap as possible just to get as many numbers on our side as possible and uh, be able to take out any forces that come near us, so that's what we're going to do. Holy fuck, thank you. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's a lot. So instead, we're just gonna go ahead and get some Way Watchers. Cool deal. Oh, my dogs are barking over there in the background. I'm not sure what they're barking at. Oh, Orion needs one more person, so. Shoot. Alright, what do you want, Orion? Anything you want. War dancers? Okay, we're going to give him Wildwood Rangers next turn. Perfect. Um, 
Let's go with the Unroll Pendulum as well. Just uh, go ahead and end turn here. These fucking dudes revolted again. I fucking swear to god. Oh, he's coming for this city. Damn. Ah, oh, I didn't have my eye on it. I was busy elsewhere. Fuck. That's a lot of chosen. Kolek would be able to deal with this army. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we should win that battle, I think. And then 11, 12, 1, 2 for those guys. Kolek should be able to kill this guy. I mean, a Durthu, excuse me, should be able to handle him, no problem. But those hell cannons. Hmm. Damn it. If I had gone there to stop that with Orion, we wouldn't have had that problem. That's. That's shitty. Master of the wild this fucking guy. Go ahead and get out of here right now. Make way. Protector of the oak. Clear a path. Alright. Collect's making his way down here. Time. All right, and that. You have orders? Yeah, you can take these guys. That's that's totally cool with me. All right, boom. What does this amber do? It doesn't tell me what it does when I'm negative. That's the most bullshit thing ever. That's it. That's all that happens. Alright, well, fucking whatever, who cares? Oh, we're gonna take out this guy right now. Uh, before he takes this city. And then Archaon might come fight us over here as well. Let's see, I don't, I don't want that. We can figure out something else. More armor. You're fine right there. You're fine up there. None of these guys can make it to me in one turn. I can definitely kill those guys in one turn. He's running. Just within range of that. And then we can go back to the city next turn as well. We'll put that there. So we can get as much money going as possible from all these places. We need it. So let's see here. Looks like the whole world's pretty much gonna be boned. But I think we'll be alright. It's gonna be really hard, but you know what? Yeah, that's nice. Go ahead and end this turn now. Hmm. All right, let's see what's happening. Can't see anywhere. Maybe we can take out Sartorial in a fight before this guy can uh, help him out. That'd be really nice. He is coming close. However, that other guy did just disappear. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna keep him there. We'll put him in the ambush stance. Whoever comes close, we'll take out. Ready Same thing over here. Just ambush. I so. have you, what do you need? right there. Proud son of Athelurin. Just to be able to see as much as possible before somebody comes in. I think that's gonna be the biggest biggest benefit we can have right now. Right, in turn, let's see what happens. If Arcaeon comes this way or Sartorial or whoever. If both of them attack us at once, we're finished, but if we can attack one and then leave, we should be okay. So Durthu looking mighty close to being able to fight somebody right here. Alright, we'll just go ahead and go ambush right there. Oh, we would chop that army up. Oh, dude. Come on. Come here. Come on. You know you want to. Come on. Oh, please, 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 please. Yes! Uh, well, I'll, we'll just auto resolve it. I'm not too concerned about fighting this out. Alright, there we go. Take it. Yes. Kill him. Alright, if we can kill. Uh, if we can kill him and just get out of here as fast as possible, that's completely okay with me. We'll replenish everybody we need to in time. Everybody we need to. So, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hmm. Let's go with armor for everybody. You can go with Shield of Thorns. In turn, we'll probably go back down here. We need to start getting back people. Uh, taking lots of losses. For example. I live to Jesus. Uh, let's see if this army can handle I this army. I don't know. Yeah! Take it. Alright, this is, this is a big deal. This turn's a big deal right now. We need to run away with Orion as fast as possible. Alright. So even if we lose this city up here, I mean, we're going to. It's going to revolt anyways in one turn. And Earthu doesn't have the numbers to defeat guys like that. Not now. What we're gonna do is perhaps. Can you reach them? You can't reach them. Can you reach them? Just go home. All this nonsense, god dang it. Oh. You know what to help out? Just for one turn? There you go, dude. Yeah. That's all we need. Just one turn, dude. Hold out one turn. And then Orion can go over there instead. This okay, so faction wide buffs. I need to focus on those right now. Those are kind of important. Kind of the most important. Right, take the withering as well on this guy. Ah, oh, see, see. So yeah. Kolek. Not Kolek. Dirt is coming back down here. I always do that. I mix up. Mix up, uh, what's his name? Wolfric the Wanderer with Manfred von Karstein and Durthu and Kolek. I just always think of them two, the biggest dudes, and then I don't know why Wolfric and Manfred. I don't know why I mix them up. It just, it just happens. But, whatever, you know. So what I might do, if I can find a way to get over there, that'd be awesome, but... So we have to wait another turn to get our units. Okay. All right. God, King of the Deep. There we go. All right. Max out that healing. There you go. This is real good. I like that. Mm. Lord of the. It's a little bit of a squishy front line, though. Only seven guys. And like almost as many archers, but we have pretty good cavalry to keep our front line pretty healthy with our hero and lords having that extra huge physical resistance, so 20%, 46% plus 20%, 66%, oh, 
Orion. Good for you, dude. All right. What was what was issued a quest to raid this territory? I might as well go ahead and do that now. You have orders. Um, actually, yeah, you, you're got you're gonna go on hunting duty over here. Yeah. Okay. Well, never mind. They're they're happy. They're not. Why aren't you happy? What's going on? Difficulty level, corruption, taxes. Well, you're gonna stay taxed for quite a while. Sorry. You know, life's hard and all that. My lady informs me that I, I fucking... Oh. Well, cool. Uh, the greenskins aren't gonna come over here and help me anytime soon, but, you know... They're like, we'll help out. They won't, but, you know, it's nice that they say they will. I approve. It's, uh... I really want to buy, like, dragons and shit, but I fucking... I can't. Shields. Alright, that's a... What can we do with this? Yeah, we're gonna need the Wild Riders. Perfect. Now we'll be able to take out these Hell Cannons, both of them, and these Wolves, both of them, with just a single rider. Uh, one one Wild Rider unit should probably be able to handle Wolves and these Hell Cannons if they're not taken down. Um, it'd be a really bad trade with all these Wolves though, but I mean, they have such high combat stats. And it should be pretty good for them, but we're gonna have two. Each one of them only has to handle one wolf and one hell cannon while the rest of their army advances. If Kolak stays away, they should be perfectly fine. And Durthu and this branch wraith should be able to lay the absolute smackdown of a sentry on uh, Kolak over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, shit, ten. Oh, okay, good. A one on one fight for each of our infantrymen. But these Chaos Chariots are going to fuck us up. So what we should do is focus on these Chaos uh, Chosen with Halberds over here. Fight, like, uh, shoot as many of them down as we can with each of these guys. And retreat back as we charge forward with these guys. And charge the flanks with those. That's what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen when we're trying to deal with them. So let's go ahead and give you Violent Delights. And you're just going to stay right there. You're just, you're just there to help out, you know, dude. That's all anybody wants from you. My journey begins. Master of the wild. That's twenty. Ready to okay, Thanks, Orion. You're a nice guy. All right, so let's go with. Yes. Sure. Can I offer assistance? More units of renown. Proud son of Athaluran, the forest has spoken. All right, so we're actually going to go negative. So orders. These are dark times. 243, 243, so it's like 500. So we can get you like one. Your request is reasonable. Or we could, because we need you for numbers, right? I acquiesce to your request. Sure. That might work. Two twenty stacks, Orion, Derthu versus Kolek. I'm calling it. It's gonna happen this turn. Kolek's gonna die. Wow, you can actually almost win that. Well, I guess it is all wolves. They would get shredded by these dryads and these tree kin. It's true. It is true. Alright, check this out. And go right here. King in the woods. We're gonna hit this guy right in the face. Win that battle. Oh look at that! Oh yeah. Oh please, he's so close. Oh why? Nah, it's okay, it's okay. Make way. Alright there. 
Oh yeah, we're taking them out. We are taking them out. What can they do? What can they do? Who's this right here? Y'all should take back that city right there. So, you go take this city. That'll be your best threat. Or your best possibility for success right now. Is if you can take that city back while I handle the rest of chaos. Oh, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing real good. I live to serve See what happens when you just fucking let the other elves know what's up? Oh my goodness. Give you more damage, because you're on a you're an eagle. You don't really matter. Go ahead and make you a an assassin. Actually, we'll give you more speed. The faster you can run away, the better. Where are you gonna go, Dearthu? What's up? If he runs, I'm just gonna send Bretonia after him. I'm not gonna clean up scraps like that. That's not what I do. Or what else? We don't leave the forest, right? If I can reach him in one turn, I will. If not, I won't. Come, the beauty. Sure. Oh, he wants Dearthu. He wants a piece. He's like, where you at, big boy? See, but... Well, it's like we're going to be coming back down there anyway, so let's just go ahead... See if we can... Barely can't reach him, that's alright. So we're going to go right, right, right here. And anywhere he goes, we should be able to reach, hopefully. Because if he goes back up that way, dwarves are going to get him. If he goes down this way, uh, potentially... We can get him. Not sure. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Good campaign video, guys. That was it. Oh, fuck this campaign. It was so rough. It really was. This is... It was hard. Getting to where I needed to get. It was so close. Like, chaos was coming. Everybody was dying. And I was just like, please, God anybody fight with me just anybody i'm begging you right you know just like they're like no 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 no. we're not that's not something we do we don't help out anybody okay so homeboy is completely blocked out now he definitely can't reach anywhere and sigvald ooh sigvald and big bird are right here somewhere so big bird sigvald so orion you can just... Why don't you just scout out what's happening up here? Lord of the forest. Clear a path. There's nobody up here except for all these damn heroes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull him back, put him into Wood Elf territory, and uh, kill Kolek once and for all. And that, that's probably going to be it for this video, honestly. Like, we've already accomplished so much this video. Chaos is on their last legs. And um, Norska is already being annihilated by Bretonia. Like, amazingly enough, even Bretonia, even though Bretonia only had such, like, shitty units, I guess their numbers just really came in handy and just won the day. Kolak didn't even move. He's just like, I'm gonna just die here, or whatever. Just rolled over. So. And that's that. Kolak, he couldn't survive. Okay, we're gonna run Durthu straight over here to King's Glade. Homeboy. Needs to go reinforce him whenever he can. Run him over here. Not by my hand. And Orion like said we'll put him back into Wood Elf territory. And good, good, good. This place is looking like a revolt. So we're gonna go back over here. Now they're happy. <laughs> Just got to keep trading off. Maybe we'll run this guy up here. Let's see what we can do about that. So, all right, we're getting. Let's see, where did I find that at? It was right here. Faction summary, so negative eight and amber. It still only gives me a negative bonus towards replenishment rates. So, I mean, whatever. Wow, it actually shows this screen now. So, all right, we're, we're looking pretty good. Norska's only got this one army right here that's pretty strong. That one's not that big. Throg's about to die on his own, like if he sneezes. And uh, Sigvald the Magnificent over here is probably going to trip and die. And uh, if not, if he makes it to my territory, Durthu will shut him down so unbelievably hard. Because these guys, like I said, one-on-one -on -one trade, 
with Wildwood Rangers is not going to go in Sigbald's favor. So what I might do is actually just spend one more turn, let him recruit a little bit more, uh, more people, put him right here in the ambush stance, and put that guy up there in the ambush stance. Not that guy, but Orion himself. The, uh, the God King, as he would call himself. Sure, dude. Suddenly everybody wants to be my friend. Before everybody hated me. Now what? Alright, so yeah, we're gonna move Dirt Dude. Right there. I'm just gonna say, uh, we're good. Uh, ambush dance. This dude can go... Over here. Orion. I live to serve Alright, that, that city's okay for now. Actually, there's, yeah, there's... Hmm. It's just better to keep both my territories, both sides of my territories defended for now, and this one's unhappy, so I'm just gonna go ahead, spend one last turn here, maybe, maybe he'll think it's open and start coming over here to try and take us out. If he doesn't, yeah, I don't know where he just went. So right now it's just trying to draw them in. They know we're here, but they don't think we're weak. And they're right. Do put this guy right here. Keep them from over, just overriding us. With their unhappiness. So, let's take a look at these dwarves. Hey, crash! Come down. No jumping on the door. Let's take a look at this dwarf army real quick. Oh my God! Yes, 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 yes. Look, this dwarf army will never die. Fucking five iron breakers, hell yeah, dude. All these quarrelers with great weapons. Oh yeah, that's exactly what they need. So they're not gonna die. I, I will never die. Not with this this army for Durthu and Orion. They're good for forever. But um, like I said, that's gonna be it for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and save. We'll uh, continue this and probably, as soon as everything dies, like I said, it's just gonna be a mad dash for all this territory. I don't really care who gets it. I'll make allies with them in the, in the future and uh, That'll be it. We're gonna win this campaign, I think. Before it was looking a little bit shaky. I was like, chaos might take us out, but you know, now it looks looks like we're in good shape. So, as always, guys, leave a like if you like what you saw. Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment down in the comment section down below if you have a campaign you want me to do, or a certain legendary lord you would like me to uh, start the campaign with, Helmand Gorst, or any of the unplayed guys. I'm totally fine with it. Helmand Gorst is actually awesome in my opinion, just off of his cart, which is too damn slow. And uh, other than that, guys, I'll catch y'all later.